What Lies in the Multiverse is a story-rich puzzle platformer where you shift through dimensions with all kinds of different environments and layouts. You play as an unnamed kid who stumbles upon this rather eccentric scientist called Everett, who has the ability to switch dimensions with his staff, also known as a Voyager. At one point you become his assistant and help him to reach and investigate this island he has been focusing on for a while. Along the way you come across a bunch of quirky characters similar to Everett, but they aren't there to support you. Since your arrival there is a lot of chaos in the multiverse, so now it's up to you to unravel the mystery and find out what is going on and who is responsible. This game has a lot of dark comedy. Most of the other dimensions are post-apocalyptic, like dead bodies everywhere, people going insane, and overgrown or toxic environments. There's also a lot of dark comedy in the dialogue or in the events. There's a huge amount of swearing and cursing and there are moments where people are getting bullied or berated. But there are also really emotional and heartfelt moments. It's not all bleak and mean-spirited. It really reminded me of Undertale. It's emotional, dark and funny at the same time. And unraveling the story was a great experience. I also feel like it had some nice messages to share with the player. And especially the ending was really well done in my opinion. I laughed, I got sad, I got disgusted and I got inspired. So what more do you want from a game? Well, probably some enjoyable gameplay I guess? Luckily the gameplay of what lies in the multiverse is very solid as well. Like I said in the intro, you switch between dimensions to solve puzzles and to progress in a level. There are objects that are only usable or exist in one dimension and you need to put it in the right place to advance. Each level or chapter has its own gimmick, like switching to an icy dimension to freeze platforms, so everything becomes slippery or solid, an overgrown dimension where you can climb vines to reach higher platforms and a dimension where the gravity is flipped for example. There are also a few levels where you can't switch dimensions and now you have to solve puzzles with these fragile boxes and moving platforms, which are also very enjoyable and a bit challenging from time to time. Not every chapter is as memorable as the other, like I had a few favorite chapters for sure, but none of them were boring or felt unrelevant to the story. In some levels I liked the gameplay better, and in others I was more impressed by some story elements. But I have to mention this big problem that I sadly was a victim of. I would really like a restart chapter or level option in this game. At one point I got softlocked in this level where you have to collect all these key cards to progress. But I wasn't able to get the purple card because a switch wasn't working when I came back to try to solve the puzzle. Even after rebooting the game the switch still didn't move the platform. So I was unable to get this purple key card. So I decided to play the previous chapter before this chapter in the chapter select menu. When I found out it went straight back to the main menu after finishing that chapter, I saw no other option than replaying the whole game again. I was very frustrated and angry at that time, and I was very close to just quit playing this game. But the enjoyable time I had with this game before all of this happened was enough to go through it once again. I have noticed that there are more players that had the same issue and sometimes even in other chapters. And luckily there are people that shared their save files, so you can still keep playing if you got softlocked. But this should be patched as soon as possible. It made me almost give up on this great game and that would have been a shame. So in general, What Lies in the Multiverse is a very solid narrative driven 
puzzle platformer with creative elements and memorable scenes or moments. The tone is very similar to Undertale, but the puzzles and the gameplay are very unique and once again the story is an emotional roller coaster ride. It has a few flaws sadly, like these softlock moments or almost no replay value other than collecting these memories that will let you unlock a secret ending. And there is also no option to skip the dialogue, so speedrunning this game is not advisable. But other than these issues, this game is a very solid recommendation. I had a blast while playing this game, and especially Everett was a very interesting and memorable character. So grab your Voyager and be ready to switch between all these crazy dimensions, so you can uncover the truth about the multiverse.